Welcome to the Arthur Moat Show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Arthur Moat Show, where we are recording out of Total Sports Enterprises, which is Pittsburgh's exclusive supplier in sign memorabilia, located at 100 Business Center Drive, Suite 300, Pittsburgh, PA, 15205. And today, we have a very special guest. <clears throat> Let me put the respect on him. Six-year CFL veteran with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, recently signed with the Toronto Argonauts. He's from Pittsburgh, PA, played college football and lacrosse at Mercyhurst University, also where he received an accounting degree. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> he was the CCA National Division II Scholar Athlete of the Year. He was named the most outstanding player in the Division II Lacrosse National Championship game, former teammate of mine with the Buffalo Bills, and your Pittsburgh Steelers, Mr. Four Percent himself, my off-season training partner, Ian Wild. What's up, baby? No, what's up, dude? Really appreciate you having me. <laughs> no doubt, man. I appreciate you coming on the show. You always look dapper, you know, yeah, you know. showing off the physique. Let me tuck my eyes in. <laughs> <laughs> but man, let's hop into it, man. So you've been playing in the CFL for six years. So just talk about what has that experience been like for you? Uh, it's been awesome. I mean. You know, I before going up there, I had no idea, you know, what where the cities were in Canada or what, you know, anything <laughs> yeah. really about Canada, but except maybe Niagara Falls. But um, you know, it's been awesome. I mean, the people up there, they live up to their uh, the stereotype of being extra friendly. And, okay. You know that that's a real thing, and and I have a great time up there. Good, I like that, man. So when we talk about the CFL, obviously you've heard about some of the new leagues that have been happening in America, like the AAF. You also have like the arena leagues and stuff like that, but all of those are in America, whereas the CFL is in Canada, it's out the country. So what is it about the CFL that makes it so appealing to you that made you want to stay over there that long? Um, I think maybe because, you know, the league's been around for over a hundred years. Yeah. Um, you know, so having stability, you know, and, and knowing that uh, the league's going to be around, the team's going to take care mm -hmm. of you, you know, they have a good, you know, fan, they have a really great fan base up there. Um, you know, so the games are, I mean, it, it's almost like being here in Pittsburgh or like you know, somewhere that. else where football is kind of a big deal. Yeah. yeah so that's, that's what was nice about it. And it was kind of a surprise to me because you think of Canada is like a hockey Right, that's hockey what I would country, think of right? too. <laughs> um, you know, but they're actually pretty big football fans. Okay, so. I like that. And now uh, you touched on a little bit. You said, you know, it's similar to playing here in Pittsburgh. In 2015, we actually got to, you know, experience that together, the offseason, preseason and stuff as well with the Steelers. And being that you were from Pittsburgh, what was that experience like for you? Uh, it, it was it was awesome. I mean, it was everything that lived up to it. You know, being the you know playing for your hometown team. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I grew up maybe five miles from uh, Southside and you know the, the wow, complex where you know where we trained and everything. <laughs> um, so it, it was definitely a great experience. I mean, and it just uh, you know the Steelers franchise is you know speaks for itself. Very and, true, and man. It, and being on the inside, you know, you, you've seen that as well. You Absolutely. Know, so. Man, they're top notch, man. Shoot, I only got nothing but. <laughs> High things and, yeah. and high regards when I speak of them as well, man. So, talking about the CFL and their off seasons, there is it's very different than an NFL off season. When we talk about the time, the amount of free time you have from a CFL standpoint versus an NFL off season. So, just talk about how do you maintain all that time? What do you do in there? Uh, yeah, I mean that's one thing that was different. That I, you know, once I went up there, um, you know, w once the season's over, you know, you got. A good six months until the next wow. season starts whereas the, crazy. whereas the nfl you know you got a month or two off and then you're back into otas yeah. and stuff like that very true um you know so I, you know having six months off you know the first couple of years i used to coach and train people and stuff mm -hmm. but um the past few years i've been kind of getting ready for the you know, next step of my career right. and i've been doing uh, financial advising yeah. um you know so i got my cfp you know two years ago you know, big with, time yeah, talk to him okay um, which kind of uh <laughs> It will advance my career a little bit and kind of set me up for whenever football is done. Yeah. Now, speaking of that, man, I saw that you did, uh, you were a financial advisor with, was it HBKS, right? Wealth Advisors. Yep. And as you said, you got your CFP. For those that don't know, you're certified. You're certified. Financial <laughs> planner. Certified. Yep. Yeah, I like how that sounds, <laughs> man. <laughs> but um, when we talk about financial planning, and especially amongst athletes and younger athletes in general, why is that so important? Uh, I mean, r really, it's... Um, yeah, because these these kids are coming out, and, you know, you know, same as me and you. You know, when we're 22, mm -hmm. you know, getting paid a lot of money. You know, you, yeah. you go from make, you know, growing up, you know, not making a ton of money. This is your first yeah. income, right? Right, and, absolutely. And, it, and it's 
and it's going to be the greatest income of you know possibly your lifetime. Um, you know, so it's a lot of money up front, yeah. and it's you know my my main thing is you know how can you save and preserve it, and then you know create a you know a transition fund for whenever you're done playing. Mm, you know, because a lot of a lot of people you know they make more money as they as they get older. Football you know, whereas is obviously. football is obviously <laughs> you make a ton of money when you're younger, and then it, yeah. it kind of drops off. Um, Absolutely. You know, so you got to kind of come up with a plan, you know, to create that transition fund for, you know, when you're done. Yeah. Now, speaking of the transition and plan and things like that, I want to focus more on your academic side, right? So when you were at Mercyhurst, you said being a scholar athlete of the year, on top of having the success that you had both in football and lacrosse, why were academics so important? And why do you feel as a person that is continuing to grow in, in your career right now that you feel that you still have to strive to get better academically and just educationally in general? Yeah, I mean, I think um, you know, education has always been huge for me. Um, you know, the you, the more you learn and the more you can learn from other people, mm. it, you know, it just makes you a better person, you know, in both business and, and, and in life. Um, you know, so I'm always, you know, kind of sharpening the axe, as like mm -hmm. I like to say. Um, you know, you can't just be complacent and, you know, always, you know, doing something to get better. In all aspects of life, yeah, man. right? I like that. And speaking of... I saw that you were a, uh, I believe it's a now vitamins and supplements ambassador, correct? Yeah. So talk about the importance of that healthy eating, also just taking the correct supplements as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that that started, um, you know, when I was training for, you know, my pro day, um, you know, I went away to New Jersey and we met with nutritionists every week mm -hmm. and, you know, probably, you know, something similar to what you did. And, um, you know, that really teaches you, you know, good nutrition, how, how it really helps you, you know, you know, physically and, and, Brings you to that next level that you have to yeah. play in pro sports. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. And I'm sure it makes you feel better too, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, you go out I mean, there eat healthy versus eating cheeseburgers and, and, and all this unhealthy stuff. Yeah, well, stuff. I mean, you know what that's like. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Man, say, hey, hey, don't tell nobody about that. I'm a, I'm a salad. I'm a vegan, uh, okay. if anyone's asking. Yeah, yeah just right. not today, next week. <laughs> Now, when we trained together, man, you were one of the guys that definitely pushed me to help me grow as an athlete. And I never saw somebody that would work as crazy hard as you, which is why I would always call you Mr. 4%, because look, you got 4% body fat, probably 3%. But what I want to know is this, man, at this stage in your career, what are some of the things that you're working on to improve your game? Um, yeah, really at this point, you know, getting a little bit older, it's more just about staying. Older? You're not getting older? Yeah, I guess. You I look guess like you're right. like 23 right now, man. What are you talking about? You're getting older. Well, more experienced. More there we go. More experienced. Um, you know, it's all about, you know, staying healthy and, you know, staying fast yeah. and, you know, keeping up on your speed and, you know, explosiveness. Absolutely, um, man. You know, as, whereas in the past, you know, maybe you're, you know, focusing on the, the heavy lifting and mm -hmm. all that stuff. I mean, we still do that, you know, but yeah. it's more about the speed and uh, staying healthy. I so. like that, man. So what can we expect from you this season, man? Uh, it's going to be a great year. I like um, that. Yeah, I, I talked with uh, Coach Chamberlain, who's the, the head coach and D coordinator of the Argonauts. Okay. Um, you know, and, and I've, I've seen his defenses in the past, and I mean, yeah. it looks like it, he's going to have a fun role for me. I like uh, that. To kind of roam around and be able yeah. to do a bunch of stuff. So. Show off the, the athletic ability, baby. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yes, indeed, man. Well, shoot, man, that was it for today's show. Definitely appreciate you coming on. Also, if people want to find you on social media and follow what you have going on, where can they find you at? Uh, on Twitter at wild underscore Ian and on Instagram at, at iwild38. I like it, man. Hey, appreciate you again for coming on, right, Mr. Arthur. 4%. Appreciate Looking it. sharp as always. Thank you again for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, peace. peace.